Hi and welcome to this report for NAV training. We will start the training with the installation and setup of reports for NAV. The installation and setup of for NAV comes in two types, cloud and on-premise. Please use the setup that is suitable for your installation type. Finally we will discuss the setup of the customizable report pack. This is the same for both installation types. When we want to edit and create Fornav reports, we need to install the Fornav Designer. You can download the latest version from the Fornav website. Just go to the Fornav website, fornav.com slash download, and click to download the latest version of Fornav. Once Fornav is downloaded, you can run the installer. Of course, you accept the agreement. And with the installation type, you choose full installation, which will install the designer, the converter, and any add-ins you might need. The installation of Fornav Cloud starts with the installation of the customizable report pack in your Business Central tenant. This will install everything you need to run, edit and create Fornav reports. In order to install the Fornav customizable report pack, what we need to do is go to Extensions, and then go to the Extension Marketplace. In the Extension Marketplace we search for Fornav which brings up the customizable report pack and we can install the free trial. Once the customizable report pack has been fully installed you will find three extensions in your extension management. The first is the customizable report pack, the second is the Fornav core which contains everything Fornav needs to render the reports and the third is the Fornav language module. We are now ready to connect the Fornav Designer to Business Central. In, or, in order to do this, on the splash panel that uh, pops up when you start Fornav, you click Connect to Business Central. And on Edit Connection, you can give your connection a new name. We will call it Fornav Cloud today. We choose the NAVO Business Central version, Microsoft Cloud. And then we will sign in with the credentials that we have. Then we choose the environment. Now you can choose uh, any sandbox and your production environment. Then we click test to see if everything has been set up correctly. And now my settings are valid. And if I click on OK I am now ready to start working with Fornav. The installation of Fornav on-premise starts with the installation of the Fornav service add-in on your Business Central service tiers. This will install the DLL that Fornav reports needs to render the layouts. This is the same download that we used before to install the Fornav designer, only this time after we accept the agreement, we choose deployment and we select server add-in. If you use NAV 2013 and 2013, you also need to install a client add-in. The next step is to connect the Fornav Designer to the Business Central service tier, so I can read table and field information, load and save reports and manage extensions. For this, we need to ensure that the SOAP, OData, API and developer ports are open. So once we install Fornav and open the Fornav Designer, once again we get the splash panel to connect us to Business Central. So let's connect to Business Central and edit, edit the connection. I'm going to rename it to Fornav on-premise. And now I'm going to use the Business Central 16 version, which is the version that I have installed. The first thing I need to add here is my server name, which is BC160 Fornav. And Fornav will ask me if my server uses HTTPS, which it does. And the server instance is BC. And for me, this is, uh, this is all correct, because my server uses the default 7049 uh, port range. If you use a different port range on your server, just input that different port here in the development URL, the API URL, and the SOAP URL. My company is auto select, which is fine with me. I will I will test, which prompts me to log into my Business Central server. Once that has been done, the Fornav Core extension will be installed. 
The 4NF cord extension is uh, as a small extension which contains everything 4NF needs to work with extensions in your Business Central service tier. Once I've done that, the 4NF designer is now connected to my Business Central service tier and I'm ready to start working with reports. Once we have set up the 4NF designer properly, we can download and install the 4NF report pack. In order to download the 4NF report pack for an on-premise installation, I need to select New, which brings up the report collection and I can download the 4NF report pack. And in the configuration, I need to select my NEV version and my 4NF version and download it. Once the 4NAV customizable report pack has been downloaded, I can upload it into my service tier. To do that, I go to Extensions and Upload Extension. Select the extension I've just downloaded, click OK, and 4NAV will upload the extension for me. The customizable report pack is not mandatory when you use 4NAV on-premise, but it is highly recommended. Once we have done this, we are ready to use 4NAV. After installing the FONAV customizable report pack, you can set it up so the FONAV reports get added to your report selection. You can add your logo, payment terms, etc. In order to set up the FONAV report pack, we go to Business Central and in Setup and Extensions go to the Assisted Setup. And in the Assisted Setup, I will find my FONAV setup. If I select it, I will get the FONAV setup wizard, which guides me through the setup process. So. I can set up a payment node here and I can set up some legal conditions. I can choose my VAT report type which is multiple lines which I'm happy with and I want to import my company logo. The next question is do I want to replace the report selections? I do. This replaces all of the standard Business Central report selections with their uh, 4NAV counterparts and I want to create the 4NAV web services. When I've done that, that's it. I have set up everything for 4NAV. And once this has been done, 4NAV will have replaced all of my report selections and I'm ready to go and use 4NAV.